What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here. We are back with our Tales of Crystoria video. So, we have quite a bit of news to talk about today. We have a new story chapter coming. We have some new uh, difficulty stuff coming to the game. And uh, we're going to go over that. But first, I always like to give an update on my account whenever I pull something new. Now, I'd love to be able to tell you that I pulled the new Riala. But uh, I'm about, between all the single summons and multis I've done, I'm probably like six or seven multis deep. And uh, I've only pulled one SSR total, uh, as far as I can remember. Um, and that is this boy right here. Um, funny, since he is literally, I've had this happen a few times where right as a banner leaves, I pull the unit like right after. So I did get Waterlugger, which is cool to have because he's on the more defensive side. Um, so I think that will be, uh, pretty useful, uh, overall. Once he, uh, has a few more dupes in him and he becomes more useful in that category. Because right now, you know, with the team I'm running, he's really not replacing anyone important. Because my team is pretty much, uh, Rudy, Earhart, Asbel, uh, Acid, obviously. What is my team? Let's actually just look real quick. Then we'll hop into the uh, upcoming news. So, I'm still using Estelle because I need a healer. So then, yeah, Riala, uh, Acid, Earheart, and then in my back row I have some buffs. So, there's really not a place for him right now. I could get rid of... Um, did I say Riala? I meant Rudy. Um, I could replace Rudy um, for Ludger, I guess. Um, but I really do like her defense down. What does... I, I could be totally dumb and he has a defense down too, but let's take a look real quick. Um, 100% chance for 10% for four turns. And what does uh, Rudy do? 20% down all enemies for four turns. So, uh... I guess it just really depends because Ludger's is obviously an attack. That, uh, but it only affects one enemy, so... Uh... Yeah, I just think right now, until I get some dupes in him, uh... It's probably just better to be... She has more defense than him anyways, even though she's an, uh... Around-the-board unit. Uh, the only thing she's kind of lacking compared to him is HP, but yeah. So, enough about that. So, we got Lugger, so I can stop complaining, I guess, that I haven't gotten anything new since January. So, now, uh, April is uh the last set which honestly I i've thrown a few more singles since i pulled him but for the most part i'm pretty much done after this banner until the anniversary it's about to be may and then the middle of july should be the anniversary so within two and a half months i should be able to farm up enough assuming i'm able to hold back from summoning uh enough to do um you know the pity for whatever anniversary units we end up getting but let's go over to the notices and talk about what's coming to the game. So we'll start with, uh, I guess we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. So there is another, uh, the rate up for Sync and Barbados is back up. So if you want to try your hand at some EXs, uh, that's up. There's a Substitute Reindeer, Miklio, and SSR Ludger uh, rate up right now. The regular Ludger, of course. Uh, max raid medals increased since there's not as much use for uh, these raids, I guess they want to make it so they're not making uh, increasing how much drops, it's just how much you can get daily and weekly. So for the gold medals daily, you can get 600 instead of 400, and then weekly you can get 1500 instead of 1000. And then for silver medals, it's 1500 daily and then 4500 weekly. So uh, uh, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, so very happy with that. Um, okay, after that, new Transcend board stuff coming. I feel like this is a little early, because, um, I've got maybe, like, ten characters transcended. But, uh, you know, it's going to take different materials, so you don't have to worry about, like, oh, I need more chalices, I need more of this. Which could be a good and a bad thing. Um, you know, you need these new kind of, like, crystals you see here on the left. Uh, which are only going to... So this starts on Tuesday, so it drops with the story chapter. Um, there's going to be a new raid. What, where's the... Oh, I guess that's going to be in the other part. We'll look at that in a second. So, uh... Chat 
calluses. Okay, so they're adding it down here. So it's the same thing. Um, yeah, let's go back here. So, thank you for playing. Da 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 da. Uh, there's going to be four more boards that awaken. So, the first one is going to be uh, increase resistance to specific elements. Um, increase the character's resistance to a specific ailment. Example, increases resistance to poison by 10. So, like a wind unit is probably going to. Or, not a wind unit, and earth unit i'm trying to think uh remembering my colors correct yeah an earth unit will probably get this one because usually the wind bosses you end up fighting are the ones who poison so uh that's going to be the most useful there so you got that increased damage to specific enemy types so you know as long okay so increased damage dealt specific enemy type example increases damage to sword type enemies by five percent so this is not going to be as useful because you do end up fighting a lot of enemies that are just monsters. So, like, if, if you do have a character that is only good against swords, uh, this isn't going to be as useful. Um, increased damage to ailment-afflicted enemies. So, increases damage to an enemy inflicted with specific ailment. So, uh, if you poison something, you know, some characters will do extra damage to enemies that are poisoned. Uh, stat boost when HP is above specific amount. Specific specified stats are boosted when characters remaining HP is below is above a certain percentage. Example: attack increases attack by five percent when HP is above eighty percent. So it's pretty simple there. New items for unlocking panels: arc stones. Arc stones are required to unlock these new transcend board panels. Arc stones can be acquired by clearing raids on the newly added evil difficulty. So uh, I think they're just going to be in the normal raid areas. Um, I don't think they're going to be... You must first clear the free mission, uh, Might Unhidden 1 to be able to attempt... Okay, so there's going to be some missions you have to complete. Oh, no, okay, so they, they are going to be specific ones. Okay. So they aren't just going to be open at all times, so... Monday will be Earth, Tuesday will be Water, Wednesday will be Fire, Thursday will be Wind, Light will be Friday... Saturday will be dark, and then there will be none on Sunday. Items of all elements can be acquired from the Sunday. Okay, so it's going to be a Sunday raid that can just give you all of them. So these are also, you know, weekly. So you have to kind of... Like, right now, we're at the point where I feel like most people who have been playing, uh, you know, pretty much just use skip on the uh, first transcend board materials, like, every day. Like, even if you've only beaten, like, the first two stages and completed all three things. Like, that's what I do. Um... Before I go ahead and continue, what I pretty much do... What's today? Today is Saturday, so it should be all colors, I believe. Yeah. So I, I have the first two completed, so basically what I do each day is I just go over here, click skip, boom. And I get whatever rewards I pretty much get here. Boom, there's your chalices. Then you do the same thing. I think there's only one color that I don't have the second one fully completed. So uh, I do need to remember. To, I forget which color it is. Uh, more chalices there. This is what I pretty much do. It's not as quick as doing all three. But um, at least I'm saving gleamstones without having to, like, you know, retry and stuff. Uh, so that there you have it there. So that takes no time at all each day. So, uh, having time to do these raids will definitely be good. Especially since they've pretty much done away with, at least for now, raids as part of, like, regular events. So, your, your daily BP, you're not even using for anything right now. Unless you're actually farming stuff for your Ascend board. Uh, you really don't have anything to really use it on. So, this will be good. Uh, we'll have raids to actually work on and stuff. And I'm glad that they're raids because that means you don't have to handle it all yourself to get rewards. You can hop in on other people's. You can start one and request for help. Uh, so getting the materials here will be a lot easier. Uh, Phantom Tower renewal. Um, anything? You want to load game? Okay, there we go. Uh, fa Ultra tough. Phantom Tower reset. Are there new... Okay, so it's still... This is probably going to be the, I'm guessing, the last time we're going to have Kyle and Lafisek. Because I think we've had them for a good while. 
but um, let's see if there's anything. Changes to Phantom Tower, all enemy elements change. So that's pretty much it. So that'll be resetting, I assume, with the chapter as well. Come on. Uh, yep, Tuesday, April 27th. Main story chapter eight, part one. We have a new character up here to the right, whoever this is. But, um, so the power of sin. Um, and based on the teaser they posted on Twitter and some of these uh, screenshots, what you can really kind of gather from this is they're trying to learn how to unlock the power of their blood sin. So we'll obviously live stream this Tuesday night, uh, you know, probably around like 7 or 8 p.m. Eastern. You know, I'll go live and we'll go ahead and do this. Um, which, of course, because it's a main story chapter, you'll only be able to play it on normal first. And then next month when we get part two, you'll be able to play all of the chapter on hard and very hard. Um, which will be good because that'll be moving us. So actually thinking about the month of the anniversary should be chapter nine, part one. So I wonder if that's going to be like a big chapter since it'll be an anniversary month. Because um, for May, we'll have part two. For June, we should have a side story. And then, yeah, July would be uh, chapter nine. Um, and then version 1.3 update notice is the last thing to kind of talk about here, which is just, you know, all the stuff we're getting, you know, like the evil raids, the new transcend board stuff. Uh, so Tuesday, April 27th, uh, there's no time here. <laughs> yeah, it's talking about, okay, so there's a uh, fix for ongoing issues. Um... It looks like it's pretty much like a lot of issues like with the arena and stuff, which I had again for myself today where I beat an arena team and then it just stuck there frozen, not taking me to the windscreen and I ended up losing because you can't do anything other than close the game. Um, but besides that, there's pretty much everything coming to... Oh wait, maintenance down here. Maybe this has the time. Okay, so it's pretty much normal time. So tomorrow... So Monday night, so... Uh, the 26th, so right, basically right before the uh, stuff goes live is when the uh, 1.3 maintenance happens. But that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you're excited about the new story chapter, the new updates coming to the game. Um, I do have quite a number of units at 120, so I will have a few characters to kind of do these new upgrades with. Like if we just look at all my characters, let's go to level... Um, so I've got a full row of eight there. I've got three more on the second row at 120. I've got two at 115, one at 110, one at 105. And then I'm still working on a lot of boards for a lot of other characters. But I pretty much, you know, so what is that? I've got close to like 15 characters. Uh, at least transcended to the point where they can uh, be upgraded. So that's pretty good. But uh, yeah. Pretty excited for the new updates. We'll see how this new story chapter goes. Like I said, we'll stream it, uh, you know, Tuesday night as usual. This isn't like a super hype chapter, so I'm not really worried about, you know, being spoiled. Plus, I'm going to be busy Tuesday during the day before I stream, so I won't even be online enough to where I'd even get spoiled, so it should be fine. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.